I was really pleasantly surprised to see how highly Dear Viola is actually rated on IMDb. It's got 6.1 out of 10, granted that's across 446 reviews, which is just a tiny drop in the ocean for IMDb. But when watching it, I was thinking, you know, I'm enjoying this. I really like this. But I don't know if the wider audience will love it because it's it's not perfect. It feels low budget. The narrative isn't the best thing in the world. But actually, it seems to be well received. It was released in 2014, directed by Lauren Lind, written by Lee Rose and Kathleen McGee Anderson. And stars Kelly Martin as Katie. And she actually works as an accountant, but... She begins to write for an advice column in the newspaper and basically it's all about the letters she gets and things that are written to other and you know advice that she gives. Meanwhile she's having her own, you know, I guess romantic problems. You know, the deep irony that an advice columnist is having a lot of personal problems and, you know, doesn't have an advice person to guide her through life. It's nothing special. You know, the narrative isn't riveting. It's not you know, full of surprises or twists or it's not absolutely hilarious. But I think Katie as a character is very likeable. I like the fact that she works for a newspaper. I love any films that deal with periodicals, publications of any kind. So that will always appeal to me. And that's one of the reasons why I really liked it. Kelly Martin as Katie, you know, absolutely love her. She's brilliant, Um, very well acted, very well cast across the board. I don't think there was anybody in this whose work I'd seen prior, so it was, you know, complete fresh casting for me, introduced me to several people, um, which is always a good thing. The narrative develops at a, at a pretty good pace, you know, it's not too slow, it's not too quick, it's just a nice, gentle, mellow film that's easy to watch, is pleasing to watch, it's heartwarming, it's quite fuzzy, it's not, you know, the most riveting, so if you're wanting to sit down and watch something that will keep you glued, this isn't going to be this. But if you want a relaxing film that will make you smile, that isn't too dramatic, you know, I think Dear Dear Viola is a really good one for that. It's definitely worth checking out, and it's a film I'll probably watch again. There wasn't anything about it that disappointed me. It may not be perfect, but I'd say it's better than good. It's, it's, It's pretty great.